Hello everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to the Oak and Lame YouTube channel. If you are new here, we're so excited that you're joining us for a little crafty adventure. Um, you're in good company. We have an amazing group of uh, flock members here. Um, if you look at the chat feed at all, you know how amazing you are. So welcome. My name is Becca Oaks. Rachel Langston behind the camera. Hi everyone. Helping me out. We are going to have a super fun live today about sublimation. And we're sublimating something that's not traditionally sublimated, um, an umbrella. So this is super exciting. Um, when I first thought about sublimating an umbrella, it seemed a little scary to me. Like the idea of sublimating an umbrella, I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this. Um, but it did really well and it was super cute and uh, i'm really excited to, to talk to you about it so this is not a sublimation umbrella it's just an umbrella that happens to be 100 percent polyester which thank you rachel which is what you want to look for when you are looking for blanks to sublimate so 100 percent polyester is preferable you can get some high poly count materials that still work well but 100 percent takes the color really well um tangent i'm gonna look over here and see who all is here with yeah, me sorry guys i took a field trip we uh, went live and then becca was like hey rachel do you know where the extra sublimation ink and cartridges are and i'm like oh yeah yeah i'll get it here yeah. just a second well the reason <laughs> is this <clears throat> this project takes no time at all it's really really simple so i'm hopefully going to be answering a lot of questions about sublimation that you have today and one of these frequently asked questions is, is it difficult to um, convert a sublimation printer? And while we're not converting one, I'm going to kind of walk you through it and tell you, tell you how easy it is. So I needed those. So get your sublimation questions ready. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this if I can find the plug. We've got um, a lot of people here. They're yeah. really excited. We had a lot waiting today. You all must be geared up for some sublimation, <coughs> uh, some sublimation today. If you didn't watch last Thursday's live, Becca had nine sublimation blanks on the table that she shared with you all. That was a great live if you want to go check yes. it out. Yes. And um, Shirley says, I'm going to do this for Benny for an Easter gift. Uh, I think that's a really cute idea because you can get umbrellas pretty, pretty inexpensive and to customize it and stick it in the Easter basket. I think that's a super cute idea. Uh, uh, Jamie, thank you so much for You're that so sweet donation. Sweet. That is precious. Thank you. Um, the doormats, I do have a hundred percent polyester weave on the top of the rubber. Love doing those. Ooh, yeah, that sounds great. Morning, Tina. Um, I was geared up for hanging with you all. So glad you're here, Melissa. Super exciting. Um, Susan loves sublimation. Me too. I absolutely love it. Um, side note, did you guys catch, uh, if you follow our social at all, did you see the video we posted last night of direct to dye or direct to garment dye? Wasn't that fascinating? I think I watched it like four times. Same. I just couldn't even, because it's like a white. They put like a white base down and then it just prints right on your garment. It was, it's fascinating to me. So, so it's interesting. There's a couple of different ways. Um, Angie with Ink and Threadology, who is also a uh, flock member and a, like a longtime friend of ours, does these shirts for us. She also does the, the apron. It's amazing. We love direct to garment dye, but I, I didn't know what the process was like. I'd never seen it done. So um, in the video, it's a, it's a mustard colored shirt and I'm, I'm trying to, I'm hoping I'm not butchering this. There's a pre-treat, well, first you heat press it and then you pre-treat it. Um, and then for certain colors, you put that white underlay and then it prints over the white underlay and then like you heat it a couple of times in between, but it prints directly to the shirt. So it puts on this board and goes through the machine, prints through it, comes out and it's done after you heat press it again. Um, so satisfying. To yeah. Watch some too. colors <laughs> don't have to have that white underlay, but I am like blown away. The technology and all of that stuff is just super cool. So anyway, uh, check it out. Maybe I wonder, I haven't even asked her, but I bet she would. I wonder if we could do like a live in her workshop one day. I think oh, that would be super fun. That would be so fun. For yes. you all to see how the direct to uh, garment dye works. We have a question from Miss Lori. Let's hear it, Lori, Lori Van Lowe. Thank you for being here, Lori. We remember you. She said, how often do you need to print something with your sublimation printer? I don't use mine much. I think this kind of is a tangent on the 
I wouldn't say myth, but on the thing that people say that the ink can go bad. Go bad. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? I mean, our experience is that we let ours sit for almost over six months, and it printed out amazing. It sublimated amazing. So we haven't had that issue. I think, and honestly, I think it depends on like the temperature and the dryness of your where like your craft room, wherever your printer happens to be as well. Because mine at home. It's very interesting. It's not a sublimation printer, but it's a regular printer, so it would still apply. Um, sometimes, like, if it's warmer in the room, then I need to clean the print head in order for it to print out without, like, lines and things. And I, and but that's, it, like, general maintenance. But that's not, like, that's, like, setting for, like, a week or right, two. Right. Like, normal. So, and that's not a long time. Other times I can go over a month and not print anything and it still prints perfectly. So I think it's just sort of subjective. Yeah. Uh, Shirley said, they say it has a six month shelf life once open, but I filled mine in June and it's still fine. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I agree. I, there may be some instances where that's true. We've never found that to be true. Um, obviously, they're going to want you to purchase more ink. And I understand that. Yeah. However, I, I don't agree with it, but I understand it. Um, and there are some questions about which ink brand we use. We'll get mm -hmm. into that for sure. So save that question for yeah. for a little bit later when Becca can demonstrate that. And then Miss Susan said, so sublimation must be done on polyester, question mm -hmm. mark. Yes. Um, there are products like sub Sublity and... All, there are different products that you can treat like 100% cotton with that claim to be a base for you to sublimate with. I've tried lots of them. I have never found one that I love. She even made like a homemade one. Yeah. There was a lot of I did a lot of testing. Did. I mm -hmm. never found one that I that I loved. I, I or I mean, that would hold up. Because, see, sometimes it would look pretty going down. But Becca would toss it in the wash or give it, you mm -hmm. know, give it a little bit of a wear. And it was just coming right yeah. off. Um. So, yes, you do want to look for, and that's for infusible ink and sublimation. I'm sorry. This light, for some reason, is blinding me. I'm going to move I'm it. I'm sorry. No, it's when not. When I got it, in that you didn't closet. Know it <laughs> uh, it's going to be a long live if I can't see. Yes. Um, anyway, so, yeah, for infusible ink or for sublimation, you want to find a blank that is mostly polyester. I mean, I, I like I said, prefer 100% polyester. However, I know that's not always doable. Um, are there any other questions about any of this? Um, so just to reiterate, we actually let ours sit for like six months and it printed fine. It didn't clog or anything like that. So I don't think there's a, necessarily a time limit that you have to run it. Like, you know, when, when it gets cold outside, they say, go turn your car on at least once yeah. a week or something. I don't think it's like that. It can sit there for quite a while and still run properly. You may just have to, sorry, it sounds like someone's coming in our door. Um, you may just have to clean the print head, uh, it, and if so, that's not a big deal. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. it does use a little bit of ink, but. Yeah, keep the, keep the questions coming, though, guys. These are great questions. Yeah, fantastic questions. So, um, one question I know that is going to be asked, what is the printer that we use? This is the Epson Workforce 7840. We've also used the 7, was it? 7, 7710. Yeah, 7710. Uh-huh. Um, any of those that kind of look like this that are 13 by 19, like they're all, they're basically the same printer. It's just a new model that they've come out with. Um, so I say go for it. The reason that we love this, it is not a sublimation printer. It's a printer that we converted. Um, so if you're converting a printer, there are a couple different ways, but if you're converting one like this, then what you need is some cartridges. Now there are specific cartridges for your printer. So make sure that whatever cartridge you're buying is specifically for your printer. The one thing I don't like about this printer right now is I can't find cartridges with reusable chips. So the cartridges have, I don't know if you want to go to the overhead Absolutely. or not so they can see. The cartridges have these little chips right here. And the, these right here are not reusable, which means when the ink is gone and finished, you have to replace the chip. Now, you can remove this chip and replace it with another one, or you can get a whole other cartridge with a new chip. It doesn't matter. And it, honestly, I was looking <coughs> up some prices. It's not that big a price difference just to get the cartridges with the new chip. So um, totally up to you. I have not tested this out. I'm going to, once our cartridges are a little bit lower, I'm going to test out 
putting more ink in, shaking it up, putting it back in and see if that tricks it at all. Because the one thing about these aftermarket chips and cartridges is that your machine doesn't, or this machine does not read the levels properly. So it's not, if, if I have like one print left, it's not going to tell me, Hey, your ink is low. You need to refill this. So it's something that you need to, to look at and, um, periodically fill up if you need to. So to fill these, <clears throat> You can see there is a little tab right here that comes out and then you have a hole here that's an air hole um, and what you want to do I'm not going to do it but it comes with a syringe and it comes with this little um, syringe needle you put the syringe needle on the end of the syringe and there's one for each color the yellow pink blue and black and I know that is not the actual terms what magenta cyan yellow <laughs> um so this goes right here you just take the top off it's not an actual needle like it's it's blunt on the end um and then you take your ink again I'm not going to open it but you would take the top off and then you just draw the ink up into your syringe and then you remove this little thing right here and you're going to put the ink in here and you fill it up and all these come with instructions like there's a whole bit of instruction right here you fill that up and then I put my you can put this back on here shake it I shake it and I think most of them tell you to shake it because it gets the air going through and and it um it fills up like all there's like little chambers in here and by shaking it it just gets it to go through the chambers and then you just insert these into your printer like you would a regular print cartridge so it's that easy and uh, the difficult part comes if you have a printer that you've been using as a printer like a regular inkjet printer and you want to convert it you would have to clean out the lines of the regular ink and then you would have to insert these. But if you buy this printer straight from, like we got ours from Best Buy and when it came in, it didn't have ink cartridges in it. So that's even better. We just did not insert the ink cartridges that came with it, put these new ones in there and that was it. It was so easy. Now it will give you some warning about um, them not being compatible. It still works. Um, I will say, I, I don't know about, I think Epson, um, I have heard that if you convert your printer for sublimation, then it voids the warranties for it. Um, so check into that. It doesn't honestly bother us. So we didn't really, I, it's just, it's just one of those things. So I, I wanted to definitely hand out that disclaimer. Um, have I missed anything? No. Okay. So let's talk about the next question that we get a lot. And that is what paper oh wait, wait we didn't talk about the brand of ink sorry um we normally use ink x pro ink we love it it's worked really well it's very affordable it's very easy to get this time we're trying the starcraft sublimation ink from what we've heard it does really well as well i know our friend kat uses the hippo um uh crud is debbie here hippo hang on hang on i, I can't remember it's just hippo ink yeah, but I can't remember what um, brand Debbie uses. Debbie, if you're here, weigh in. But all that to say, I, they're all pretty much the same, honestly. I, I prefer to go ahead and order an ink from someplace that I'm already ordering. So, like, split the shipping costs or something like that. Yeah. So, find one. Just find one that you like. This is from, you can get this from 143 Vinyl. Um, we can give you an affiliate link if you're interested in purchasing. It also gives us a little kickback. Um, but moving on to papers... I've done, I did a member only video. So if you are a flock member, check it out. If you're interested, I know several of you have already watched it. Um, sublimation paper versus copy paper. What do I need? What works better? Honestly, it was so close. It was not even funny. Rach, I mean, like I explained in the video, there are a few minor details which if I had reprinted may not have even been there to be 100% honest but I think you and I both were, were quite shocked yes I mean I even tested it like I washed it with soap I dried yeah. it with a heat gun yeah. and I, I was it shocked. was shocking it was shocking it was 
And that was on a poly blend. It wasn't 100% poly. It wasn't um, a mug. So honestly, like, I, I, I would be interested to see some comparisons on some different materials too. And we may yeah. do that eventually, but just a solid comparison. Like, I, it, it's a fun video, so check yeah. it out. But if we're using sublimation paper because we've already bought it, that we just use a sub paper. Yeah. It's really... It's really great paper. You can get it in several different sizes. You can even get it in like mug wrap size, which would be like four by 10, I think. Um, if, if your printer is equipped to print that size, um, grab that if you're just doing mugs, it saves some paper. Does it matter what type of copy paper that you use? Someone's asking if like laser printer paper seems to work better than regular printer I paper. I haven't used laser. I've only used the ink print. The, so when, the um, regular. I think she ink. asked this because it is April, April Rhodes. Yeah, April. Because with Cricut infusible ink, you can use the infusible ink pens on laser paper yes. and transfer it. I, <clears> I would <throat> say it would still work, April. I don't see why it wouldn't if it works for Cricut infusible ink I pens. I agree. I agree. The only thing is, I don't know if, since you're, and I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're printing it out on the laser paper, will it smear? Because it is sort of, could be. it, it could be could, shinier. Yeah, could. So take those things into consideration. For sure. Um, I, we may do a comparison on that too. Kind of dive a little bit more into the, yeah. in, into the sublimation paper comparison. And we're definitely going to have some in-depth videos. Hopefully, like a course on sublimation, and one of them will be, of course, like how to convert your printer. So for those of you that are like, wait, what did she say about the chips? What did she say about the cartridges? This is just like a very brief little overview, you know, on on how to do it. We can answer any questions you have about it, um, but hopefully, we'll have some some training on each each little part of sublimation to help yes. help you guys. Uh, Tina says, what do you do with the original ink that comes with the printer? Um, you just give it to a friend. You just, yeah. Toss it. You don't, I mean, you're going to convert it. I'm convert never going to use printer. this as a regular printer. Yeah, no, yeah. no, yeah. we're always going to use it as a sublimation <clears throat> printer. Yeah. Try and sell it, resell, you know, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, so back to the paper. This also comes in 13 by 19. It's huge. 11 yeah. by 14. I mean, all the different sizes. We do have 13 by 19. However, I don't need it today. Um, and this printer will print 13 by 19, which is one reason why we've chosen this printer. Even, um, I've said it before, even some printers that are specifically for sublimation printer, like the Sawgrass, um, doesn't print this big. So, And I would... I would go as far as to say, even if you're on the fence about sublimation, but you want to put the money into it, I think you should spend a couple extra hundred dollars and get a really, a printer that will print larger because I, I don't think anybody could try sublimation and not fall in love with it. And then yeah. if you're stuck having converted a printer that's smaller, you're just going to be like, you know, missing out basically so, I, w I would just get the bigger print i agree we had a friend who a, a flock member i don't know if you saw it or not but in the private facebook group asked basically i found this printer for this price but it doesn't do this big should i try to look for something else and my encouragement was yes uh, more times than not print larger than eight and a half by 11 or even 11 by 14. yeah most of the time i'm printing 13 by 19. yeah um, and it's been so handy to, to not have that size restriction of eight and a half by 11 when we wanted it right Absolutely. Okay, so ASO paper, um, I'm not really looking at comments. So if there's any other questions, you can let me know. Um, They're all helping each other. It's, it's great. They're helping each other with cartridges and ink links and things like that. So I love that you, you guys are, are, are helping each other. Yes, I love this. Yeah. Um, so with sublimation, let's talk about heat sources really quickly and we have a video coming or a live coming up um that we will, rachel will be comparing the clamshell heat press versus easy press um so we'll go more into depth and show you the difference kind of talk about what we prefer and all of that stuff we'll work it out with you because honestly i I don't really have a preference. Um, for today's video, I'm using this because the size is awkward and getting this um, in my clamshell heat press was a little... Here come uh, the comments about a bad omen because you opened up the umbrella. Here they come. They're going to flood in. You know what? I love Jesus and I don't believe in that. I don't either. I'm not superstitious at all. 
<laughs> Plus, I have horrible luck anyways. Bring it on. Exactly. You know? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's so funny. Like, it's become sort of a, yeah, well, this is my life, so it's going to happen this way. Yeah, it, yeah. It's just, like, things don't happen. The black cats running across the road or me going under a ladder or breaking a mirror never has affected me. No, you just have bad luck anyway. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, for today's project, I am using the um, large Easy Press. But if I were going to be doing uh, somewhere... There was a blanket. The blanket that we did on New Year's Day that was huge. Well, not huge. It's a baby blanket, but it was really cute. There was lots of it. So cute. The easy press or the, the clamshell press was better because it's larger. Some materials, not all of them, I still can't quite grasp and qu quite figure it out. Some materials, if you overlap, you will have shadowing. For instance, if I do 100% polyester camp flag, which is like a yard flag, garden flag, if I overlap... You, I get a line every single time. If I do the, the poly cotton fabric in overlap, nine times out of ten, I don't have shadowing. If I do um, the blankets, the 100% poly blankets that are like the super soft ones, the, uh, what are they called? Uh, fleece. Like the yeah, but not, not the polar fleece, but the other no, but fleece. Like, yeah. Micro. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I don't experience any shadowing. So it's very interesting. But if it's not a material that you've worked with and aren't 100% sure that you will not have shadowing, I would go with the larger one because it's just, it's really frustrating to get it printed, to get it put on there, and then have a line from shadowing. So um, before you ask, can you use a household iron for sublimation? Uh, no, don't do that. No, please don't. don't. Do you will waste so much time yeah. and money. And uh, Shauna said that she hates her sawgrass. And we have like six people asking why she hates it. So Shauna, let us know. Why do you hate your sawgrass? We're, this is just sublimation talk here. So, so let us know what, how you feel about it. So I've worked with the sawgrass as well. My, I needed to work with it more, but I found it difficult to get the color correct on, my saw, on the sawgrass. It was, okay. it was interesting. Yeah. Like I did several comparisons. I like changed. Uh, it, it was difficult to get it really true and really pretty for yeah. me. Yeah. I don't know. Um, April said, they say <laughs> clamshell heat presses are harder to work with with thicker blankets and things really? like that. I haven't found that to be true. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I, I haven't had, I'm not saying it's not. I, I haven't had that experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Could be some like super fluffy blanket. You, you, you just never know. You um, never know. Yeah, Shirley says she doesn't have any problems with her clamshell and blankets either. Shauna said, lots of tech issues with the sawgrass, lots of time working with tech support. Colors are not that great. See, colors. That was the thing That's for me. That's so odd. It's shocking, isn't it? It's very interesting. Um, speaking of color, I did a little post in the private Facebook group to do, today comparing... I don't have anything over here that I want, but it's okay. <laughs> comparing um, a printed valentine that i did for fallon one was on it's the same material but one was with a glossy material setting and one was with a um a plain paper material setting and the difference was insane which sparked a video that's coming out friday comparing we were like push all the other videos yeah. this one's more important we did a fun quick comparison very i mean the, the video might be six minutes edited honestly it's going to be really quick and isn't that going to be refreshing to you guys with these hour and a half live <laughs> <Yeah>. streams <laughs> anyway we compare printer settings for new fun printable vinyl for zakoto printable vinyl and for 110 pound plain cardstock so uh super it, it's a fun video but we here lately more than anything have been having a ton of questions comments concerns about people not really loving print and cut because one it, it either smears or two it doesn't print right they like think the color's too dark yes yes and so we're going to talk about that it's going to be amazing and they think it's their printer and most of the time guys it's you so becca has a great video coming yeah. out friday just and honestly it's not like 10 hoops you have to jump through it's the easiest fix ever but unless you know to do it you would never know to do it honestly but i say all that to say 
it could, if you're not experiencing great color with your sublimation printer, it could be this, the material setting on your printer. Yeah. Uh, for instance, if I accidentally hit glossy paper or something, it, and, but I'm printing it out on regular paper, probably not going to have a great result. So, yeah. um, anyway, that video is coming out Friday. I think you all will enjoy it, but if there are no other questions then we can get started, um, with this file that we're using, print it out really quickly. Um, and I don't even know that if this is on, we're doing the whole thing. So if this doesn't print out, we're SOL because yeah. I've not pre-done it. <laughs> and Romo's here. Hi, Romo. And he says, I'm lost on sublimation. It looks complicated and hard. I need dummy classes on sublimation. Not complicated, not hard. No, it's not. Stay tuned. We're doing it right now. It's so easy. So before we go over to design space, let's talk really quickly about the file type that you need for sublimation. The answer is you can use a JPEG, you can use a PNG, you can use an SVG, you can use, um, I mean, those are the main types I'm trying to think of, uh, of any of the other ones. Uh, there are lots of different file types that you can use. A PNG or a JPEG um, is a pixel-based image. Generally, well, no, not generally, but always, you can get different textures and different like color gradients, different um, shadowing and things like that if you are working with a pixel-based image. You cannot get those, you can't get those effects with vector-based images. It's, it's impossible. It doesn't work that way. It's a flat um, layer. It does not work that way. So for instance, if you see like the, the, um, soccer ball that looks inflated with the leathery shine on it that I, that we released on Monday, that's a PNG. And when you pull up the SVG version, it doesn't have the shine. It doesn't have the layers. It doesn't have the inflation because it's impossible. So while you can use SVGs in order to create sublimation, you don't have quite the same look. This type of image, because it doesn't have any shadowing, it doesn't have any textures or shine or anything like that, from PNG to SVG, it's not going to matter. However, if we take a disco ball that has, you know, the different, the different shadowing and the different colors and the different gradients, um, you're going to want the PNG version over an SVG because it just grabs all of those, uh, the, the parts of the image that there really There can be so much amazing. more detail in yes. PNGs. Yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now we can go over here. We are working today with this file, which um, is a Oak and Lamb file. It is available already. If you are new here, um, we call our crafty friends our flock, Oak and Lamb. <laughs> amazing. Um, <laughs> and one of our amazing members, Miss <clears throat> Missy, one day, I don't even know what compelled her, but it was the best thing ever started referring to her order number. So when she purchased membership with Oak and Lamb, she used her order number as her flock number. And so Anna like, a, was, like a lamb's ear tag. Yes. So like Anna's flock like number. flock number, adorable lamb, ear tag. Let's take an ear tag. Let's like customize this for them. We'll kind of uh, brand it for them, make it really cute. And so we've just run with it. It's adorable. So that's what so we're doing cute. today. Yes. We have this image right here, uh, which this one might be. I don't know if this is the PNG or the SVG. This is a, it doesn't matter, but when I do this, it becomes a PNG. Okay, let me center it back up here. Right in here. I don't need to do anything to this because it's perfect already. Don't need to change the sizing. Got to get it back centered there. All I want to do is take these numbers, which these numbers are also available. And I want to, I'm going to put the Oak and Lamb flock number, which is 1018. So I'm going to duplicate this. I am an illustrator, by the way, for those of you who did not know. I'm an illustrator. You can do this in Canva. You can do this in Inkscape. You can do this in Design Space as well. I just prefer here. Um, I'm just duplicating these numbers and bringing them over. 1018, like I said, is our um, flock number here at Oak and Lamb. Yes. Because that 1018 is the day that we started Oak and Lamb. Okay, so I've got these numbers together. I'm just going to bring them over here, place them on top of the tag, size them, 
manipulate them just like this. And then, uh, are these okay. numbers hand lettered? They were hand lettered. Becca's so talented. I don't know about that, but that was very kind. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So you can see I'm I'm getting fussy with this because I'm sort of a little bit anal about getting it picky. Getting yeah, it picky. That's I just fine. I like it to fill up the space really good. I like it to have the same angle as the bottom. I'm a little bit picky about it. The fact that it might be a little bit low too. And the other thing is once you get in these four digit numbers, I think it's a little bit more difficult to fill up the space, right? I agree. I think the three digit numbers look better. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> but oh wow. Okay. Got to go with the cards for dealt here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest right here. And one thing I imported, or when I edited this artboard, it just came in at, at the default size. Um, I wanna change the artboard size to eight and a half by 11 because that's what I'm gonna be using. Well, that's um, smart. Over here you can see edit artboard. If that happened to not be there, then you can do it over here on the left-hand side as well where it says artboard. So you just wanna select your artboard. And then we're going to make the width 8.5, height 11 inches. And then we're going to place our tag right here. And I need to size this tag. So let's see. Let's see what size is going to be good. Let me grab my measuring tape here and see what we did. I think this was pretty good. I, I guess it could have been Let's a little this bit process. bigger. Let's see this process. Let me see this. Yeah, let me open this again. So if you do it three times, does it like, does it like, like if you open an umbrella three times, someplace, does it like oh, get rid of the bad like, luck? Like does it like counter? Oh, like a double negative type <coughs> thing. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. So this is actually, we can, we could have made this bigger. Let's make the tag seven inches wide. Let me see. If I make the tag seven inches wide, I'm going to go over back into Illustrator. If I make it seven inches wide, then it makes the height 8.5, which could be a little troublesome up here, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. It'll be fine. Okay. Let me close this umbrella down a little bit. Well, hi there, Anna. Have Is you Annie been, here? Have you been like a, a quiet watcher today? You haven't said anything till now. What'd she say? Well, Terry said, Becca, what happens when our flock numbers are five digits? We'll have to quit. And then we'll have to, no, we're not <laughs> going to do that. No. And then Anna says, that's a good question. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll have a and wider tag. And it'll be tag. a fantastic <laughs> problem. It'll be a wider tag. It will just, it will have a new shape. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It will be a good problem. Perfect. Okay. So we have... This right here. And with sublimation, you want to make sure that your image is flipped. If I print this out just like this and put it on my umbrella, it's not going to be so great. So in Illustrator, all I do is right click, press transform and reflect, and then I can reflect it vertically. Which in design space is just like mirroring your yeah, image. Exactly. Just like when you do uh, exactly. heat transfer vinyl projects. Now I can print straight from Illustrator by going to file and print. I'm gonna to go to setup so that I can um, increase my print quality to best. Definitely want to do that. And I'm going to let it know that I wanna feed from my rear tray. And then as soon as I load a piece of paper into this printer, I'll press print. Let's see what Becca's doing. Fingers crossed everything works yeah. well. Yeah. Look how tiny that sheet of paper looks so little. with that huge printer. <laughs> so little. This thing is so heavy, too. It's a it big so print. heavy. Like the cord got caught when Becca was trying to bring it over <gasps> here. And I was like, oh my gosh, Becca. Because it's, it's the whole thing. It's so heavy. It is. I have to deal with. You know what? I didn't select the printer, so the wrong one may have been selected. Let me go back. Hey, I don't even think that other one's plugged up, is it? The Canon, the Canon it was selected. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's try again. 7840 print and print. But Melissa has a good question. Okay. I need to learn Illustrator. Is it a free program? If not, how much is it? It is not free. Um, now, Becca, 
you you would pay a lot of money for Illustrator because I do. Yes. Yeah. yes. Even like I even before Oak and Lamb paid for it, I paid for it because I just use it all the time. Yes. Um it is you there is a free trial, so you can try it out for seven days, I think, and then I believe it was nineteen ninety nine a month after that. Or you can bundle it. So if like I use Lightroom to edit all my photos. Um uh, so you can bundle it with that. Also, if you have a student, you can get a, you can like sign them up for an account and do a student discount. So I get Lightroom, um, Illustrator, Photoshop, like all of the creative cloud type stuff for nineteen ninety nine a month. That's great. no, it may be less than that actually. Oh, hold on. Is there a right and a wrong side to the sub paper? There yes. is, yeah. yes. And you'll see it. Like the back has yeah, some the, has a logo on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So here's this. And look how faded it looks. Looks terrible. Looks awful. Yeah, look at that. I mean, wow, looks terrible. It's supposed to, though. We're not going to fret, though. Just wait. Um, I'm going to have to move this a little bit. You can watch me struggle to move this I, thing. It's on the overhead. You Fantastic. take your time. You're not going to see me die. I would not want, yeah, to do that to you. Okay. I'm going to just put it on your desk for a second. Okay. Because I need the corner of the workstation because the umbrella is a little bit odd. So I think I'm going to place well, it, it is on an the umbrella. Yeah. So yeah, it's true. It's a weird shape. Okay. So I'm, I'm preheated. My easy press is preheated to 400 degrees and I have my, my easy press. Are we still on the overhead? Yes. Um, you can see I have a lovely Oak and Lamb emblem on our easy press Perfect. mat now. Looks fantastic. <laughs> um, turns out the ink goes through the umbrella. It's a whole thing. So all that to say, Grab something to place. Maybe not that with paint all over it. I wasn't really thinking. We'll use <laughs> this one. Place something over your Easy Press so that the ink does not um, seep through. Okay. I, opening this, I'm going to just cut this just around very crudely. I don't know which camera we're on. Overhead. Okay. So just around, doesn't matter. Then I'm going to grab some heat resistant tape so that I can tape this onto my umbrella and it won't be an issue. If I can grab the tape here. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose, I guess this side right here. Put it on here, probably more toward the bottom than anything, just because I like the space down here, especially with my easy press. And then I'm gonna tape this on in a million different spots so that it doesn't move on me. This material is a little bit slippery, and so it does not love to stick with the tape. So definitely over tape it. We saw a fun hack today on a video. I, I don't know. It kind of scared me. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do it on this, but they use Loctite to spray it down. Like they would spray it on the printed side of the thing no, I and mean, then slap it on. Like mind you, it did. was on wood. It wasn't like on fabric, but I definitely wouldn't want to do that on fabric. Still, it, it, gave, it gave me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, it was odd. Okay. Now that this is taped down... I'm gonna go to the yeah, front. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to. I was trying to think of what would be less awkward. Be on the corner right here. I'm just gonna place this right here and then grab my heat press. Uh, again, it is preheated to 400. And I'm gonna press it for 50 seconds. And it should be fine. Are you giving a lot of pressure? I have one hand on it. My fingers might be turning white, but not a ton of pressure. On a ton. How many friends do we have with us here? 74. Amazing. Who here is not an Oak and Lane member? I want to know. Ooh, the good good question. I want to know if you are not an Oak and Lane member. What are you doing? Thank you for being here, but what are you doing? Where Becca's like, good cop, bad cop. Thank you for being here. I'm like, what are you doing? What's your problem, man? What's your man? problem? <laughs> Don't you want to be here with us 24-7 in our flock group? 
It's the best. Yes, and we are launching our full website this Saturday. We're super excited. Accessing our cut files will be even easier. Accessing your information on your account will be even easier, but it will be more expensive if you wait until Saturday to do it. So click the link that Rachel is sharing with you all. Become a, oh no, it came off, which is okay. But I wanted the big reveal. I'm putting it Sorry. back on. We're going to pretend like it didn't happen. Okay. Okay. Are you all ready for yes, this? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Never seen anything like it. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Look at those colors. Look at that. How pretty is that? Well, I love it. It's not hot either. I thought it would be like really hot. It's not hot. Super cute. Romo, what do you think? How you easy think? was this? That wasn't scary at all, Romo, was it? I love this. What sh should we do some more? You guys want to do some more? You want to put some more on it? <laughs> what else do you want to put on it? I don't know. I'll have to get the printer back out. You, you all let me know. Do you want to chat or do you want me to craft? You let me know. I, they're going to say I want you to do both. Chat and craft? Susan said, would it work on the black part? No. No. You would not see it on the black part. Great no. question, though. Yeah, that is a good question. What other image would we put on it? Have, um, I don't know. We could put the camper, the the crafty camper. Yeah. What are they saying? Dana said, now I'm going to have to go buy an umbrella. Fill all the white areas. Just make it all craft themed. Oh, crap. Ooh. What? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's go over here. Where are we going? We're going back over to my computer. Okay. Because I already have our craft supplies that I use for our um, thumbnails. Yeah, this is this is just a little glimpse into my world, friends. Like, um, it, it. This is, <laughs> this is how things work. Oh, we definitely need this. We definitely need this guy. Or should we just do the measuring tape or the measuring tape and thing together? Just the measuring. The, the of duo. course, Becca would pick the measuring tape. Well, it's happening. It's happening. Okay. It's Look happening. It's happening. Okay. Uh, we also need a cute little glue gun. That's adorable. So I'm going to copy that and paste it over here. What, um, you, Easy Press is your favorite or the glue gun? Oh, the glue gun. Okay. So I got the glue gun. Um, uh, let's do the, let's do the sewing machine because it's cute. Camper and glue gun. We're seeing camper and glue gun. Okay, let me find the camper. Anna said, no, Becca. Anna, what, what do you need? What? What do you need? What do you need, Anna? I have to be discreet here because my desktop is a mess. Carly said, sublimate all your signatures. Oh, that would That's be cute. cute. Hold on, let me find them. Good luck. Well, like Becca's whole I don't want to display my her... entire desktop no. because it's embarrassing right now. It's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. Do you want me to go off the screen no, for a minute no. so you can find No, no, they just know stuff? how disgusting my that my desktop is. Where are our signs? Oh, here they are. Okay. Shirley said, is that umbrella more like cloth than the typical, wow, than typical? the typical umbrellas? No, it's not. I think they not. feel the same. Yeah, the well, it is the same. same. It's not a sublimation umbrella. Just a regular old umbrella. Okay. Have some signatures here. Let's make them smaller. Well, that'll be cute on there. Yeah. However... Do I have the SVGs? Maybe not. Signatures. You all only know how knew how many times I wrote, wrote my name before I got. It's perfect, right? <laughs> halfway decent. And then Becker just flick of the wrist done. You know what? We're gonna and need. I'm like, we're gonna need a thirteen, over. a nineteen by thirteen. 13. Thirteen by nineteen. Okay. Okay. Let's edit this board here. We'll do thirteen by nineteen. Ugh. Okay, we got this here, we'll put this here. We're just gonna like piece this together. It'll be really fun. Anna never told me why she said no, Becca. What, probably because I, she thinks I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin the umbrella. What's going on out there? I don't know. Thank you, Rachel. You're very welcome. Big old paper. Okay, we got this here. We should probably put a cricket on there somewhere. A crack hook. Yeah, okay. Let's put this cute one on here. Oh, and these. These are cute. Becca's geeking out right now. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. 
How many, how much space do we have to work with on the umbrella? How many panels do we have left? I don't know. I'm just going to We only have like three panels left, Becca. I know, but these are smaller. Like I'm going to, I'm going to like. Oh, like a couple on each panel? Yeah, I think one we will just have our signature. Maybe we should put our face on it. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's a terrible idea. That's a terrible <laughs> we'll idea. We'll delete that one. We're deleting that one. Okay. Um, what else? Do you like anything else? Should we just go with that? I think they're all this? ugly. I'm kidding. They're terrible. <laughs> terrible. Just scrap them. Start over. Scrap them. Scrap them. Anna said, it's because we're, quote, Becca, so much older than me. And you all being so much older than me, quote, uh, have extra experience practicing names. Well, first of all, Anna, whenever I'm here with Becca, I don't feel an age difference. I just Because don't. I'm so young. Because Becca is so hip. Young at heart. And so young at heart. I don't, I don't feel that way. Did you hear that? That was the sweetest thing. Mm. Okay. We're going with this. <laughs> Kat said, yes, totally your faces. We need to see how that works out. I agree. Let's do it. Plus, we haven't done like a photo. Yeah, why not? Well, yeah. Oh, there's all our links in case you all need them. And Terry, you Oh, cannot... I'm just going to look at this. You all, uh, here you go. It's embarrassing. Mm. Uh, there you go. Okay. There's, you've seen some sneak peeks, guys. A lot of sneak peeks. <sighs> oh, it's really embarrassing. Uh, Terry, you cannot sublimate on black. You won't be able to see it. Um, just like you couldn't run black uh, paper through your printer, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Same thing. It doesn't sit on top of the fabric. It sinks into it, so you won't be able to see this anything. Is good. This is really good. Everybody wants our faces. Who wants this umbrella? I'll send it to somebody. Um, Anna said, the freaking thing will be a dumpster fire. <laughs> no, don't say that. Anna always gets mad at me because I just go overboard with everything. Kat said, I'm telling you, you can auction that puppy off and make some cash. <laughs> no, yeah, no one is going to want this. this is, I was not planning to do this, friends. <laughs> okay. These, these signatures look really grainy and terrible. Romo says, why don't you make this the official camping umbrella for the camp trip? It's going to have to be. We're going to have to drag this thing around and hope it rains one day. <laughs> Just so we can pop it out. Hope it rains one day. I, I really hope it does. <coughs> Nothing's okay, worse than raining on a camp trip. That's true. It's horrible. That's true. Especially because we'll have all of you all of you guys as friends with us. And we don't want to. There's, there's no way to just pile up together. Okay, that will work. Oh my what, gosh. We had three. Oh no, we only have two. Oh, there's not a lot of space. Rain here. said raffle it off. We're gonna have to make some choices. We're gonna have to make some hard choices. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna have to make some hard choices. Okay, anyway, Anna matter. said she just needs to stop like five steps before she actually does. Things go along great and then bam, she always takes it too far. <laughs> Anna. It's true. That's Anna, true. That's so mean. Okay, let me grab my printer again. What are we, are, we, are they hanging like are they are they hanging through this or do they think we're idiots? You know, I think they're enjoying it. Okay, good. Oh no. Dear heaven. Now I gotta watch back a struggle. <sighs> my face is her. all red. Look at her. <laughs> God love her. Okay. Plug this back up here. And then, come on. We've jostled her around. She don't want to come on. Why is it not coming on? Oh, it's not plugged in. I can't even see around here. It's it's on. Okay. You're good. Oh, I didn't know it made noises. And I feel like you owe me an apology. I feel like what you meant to say... Well, Becky, you have amazing ideas. <laughs> You're a creative mind. I love when Becca does that. I think what you meant to say was, oh my gosh. It is true. I have ruined some amazing things. Becca. It's true. It's true. It's better than being boring, you know? I have to change the paper setting, and I have to remember how. Hold on. 
Take your time. Okay. Are you on my computer? I'm I show am how. now. So in Illustrator, to change the page setting, paper setting, um, you just go to print like normal. But instead of printing, pressing setup, you push page setup. Then continue, and we're going to select the uh, this one, Super B. Press OK. Super B. Super B. Test rear. Okay, that should be good. Let's watch her. Let's watch her. Watch work. her print out. Okay, we're still preheated there. Oh, this is good. This is rich. Let me see these comments. Anna, that was not a backhanded rich. Is boring. Or that you're boring because you and me have the exact same style, Anna. So if I said you were boring, I'd say I'm boring, which may be true. But Becca, it, I would rather go over the top than be boring, is what I was saying. Why is this not printing? Give her, give her a minute. Give her a minute. Just wait. Oh, oh, here she comes. Okay. She's working now. Well, you know, sometimes you have to press that printer setting, like the paper setting, oh, to yeah, confirm yeah. it. Oh, yeah. So I didn't yeah. know if that was. I mean, there's nothing but laughy faces in this comment section. Bad. What have we done? What have we done? She's going to print out. Is the Easy Press still preheated? It is. Wow. Mm hmm Wow. I think we only have two panels. What is going on? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes around the front. I don't know. It says it's in use. What? You may not get to do this. But you've worked so hard. We have signatures and everything. We're going to make it work. Melissa said, Jan Myers, I think your girls are trash talking. Time for some discipline. <laughs> Listen, Jan is used to it. Trust me. I heard that noise. What was the ding noise? I don't know. Ooh, it's saying something. There's, I see an orange light, Becca. There's an orange light. I don't normally see that. The paper size and type is, okay. Jan said, at this point, I duck and cover. Smart, Jan. Smart. Smart. She's been doing that our whole life. Jane said she was, when we were talking about superstition, Jane said she was born on Friday the 13th. She was, yeah. That is something. Wow. Wow. How's it? Oh, it's working. Hey, I have to use the umbrella during the summer. I take meds that I cannot be exposed to sun. My um, aunt is the same way. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. well, I, I don't know that it's meds, but she has, like, see-through skin. Her, she's so white, she's see-through, and so she has, like, um, she's prone to... Burns like, and stuff. Well, yeah. and skin cancer yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. and all that fun stuff. When my sister was on Accutane, which is a very popular acne medication, if you mm -hmm. have super bad acne, um, going out in the sun is, is very, very dangerous. You can burn extremely easily, so she would, she would have to duck and cover inside through the whole process. I love that you struggle sometimes, too. Of course we Trust do. Trust me. My Trust goodness. me. You all see it for sure. <clears throat> uh, history of skin cancer. Yes, you haven't said that. Romo says he'd rather overachieving than be boring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the anticipation is real. My Easy Press was screaming at me. It wants to turn off. He's done. He, she. We haven't named it yet. Good Lord. Uh, you know, I always forever. have to give everything a gender, though. It's is either it a boy or a girl? The Easy Press? Mm. The big ones always scream boy to me. The one well, that you know, we had. You think, like, Big Bertha? The, win, like, the one that we had at Makers to Learn, I named, I named him Big Papa. The 10 by 12. How do, what's the matter? Well, this looks weird up here. We're using it anyway. Okay. Yep. Have to move this thing again. You got this. You got this. I'm leaving it all on you this time. <laughs> Hoist it. See, back it makes it look easy. That, that sucker's heavy. My back's gonna go out on me. Okay, 
Same thing. We're cutting this out. We're going to tape it onto the section. This is this is good. This is rich. Rachel, I hope you Hang get on, stuck. You've got to look at these. Look at these. Look at our pictures and stuff. <laughs> what? Oh, oh this my is gosh. good. This is good. We're going to do this one first, and then we'll arrange the other because it's going to take longer. Okay, so we got to get our tape back out. Uh, put it on here. What? Okay. What? Oh, no, nothing. I don't know which camera I should have it on. With an umbrella on the table, it, you're giving your producer a run for her money. I don't, it's kind of tricky. You love it. Uh, this tape is not fantastic for this. It, I mean, seriously, it's, I'm not going to love doing all the little pieces, I don't think. It just doesn't want to stick. Someone is outside our door. It's very interesting. I kind of want to go talk to them, and I don't know who it is. Where are they? Right here. I swear it's those Morristown utility people. They pull Keep in there and just chit-chat on their phones all day. Maybe. Okay. We've got her tapes down. I'm going to do the same thing. 400 for 50-ish seconds. Shirley said, more mishaps means more time with you ladies. So what <clears> you're <throat> saying is, you like it when we fail because we're here to entertain you longer. That's what I'm hearing. I'm Which, hearing that too. That's fine. That's fine, Charlie. Speaking of mishaps, my kids go to a private school and they wear uniforms and like... Once in a blue moon, they had this dress uniform, which still haunts me. I had to wear it. Um, and I forgot that today was dress uniform day. Becca's been watered up about this all day. I have two. Yeah. I have sympathy being mad about it. So, um, do you hear that? It's like they're coming in the door. <laughs> I kind of hope they do. Um, anyway, so I, get, I, I put a note on my, on my phone to remind me at 7 a.m., to put my kids in dress uniform. And for some reason, I didn't get it till after eight today when I was here at the office. And I immediately text the school administrator and was like, totally forgot. Um, can I bring it? Do they have to wear it like all next week? Like what's the rule? Here's this. <laughs> I love that it was Anna's face. Well, my face is also gone. Well, that's sad. That's sad. Sorry, Anna. Sorry. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. No, that's exactly. Oh, I'm an idiot. What? Well, that part of the. It wasn't, wasn't on the map. Wasn't on the map. It's okay. We'll do the rest of it. Sorry. Um, Anna. Anyway called and they said if you have it here by nine then they will not have to wear it any extra days if you can't get it here by nine then they'll have to wear it for two days well Beckett hates dress uniform I mean hates it it's cr like tears all the time he <laughs> I'm sorry I'm imagining one of us walking around with this umbrella with half hands <laughs> anyway and so I go, we get there, I call Wayne, because Wayne lives close, or works closer to the house, and I wasn't going to be able to go to the house, get the dress uniform, and get it back to the studio, or get it back to the school. Um, um, so I met Wayne, he got the uniforms, met Wayne at the school, I'm dressing the kids, he goes to dress Fallon, and I took Beckett because I knew it would be an issue. And Beckett's bawling bawling and he says uh hold on let me get the actual verbiage correct um it's simple i don't like this this is not my perfect day why are you doing this to me i mean this whole like this whole sob story and i'm trying to be sympathetic but it's really funny all at the same time so i was kind of smirking which made him even more mad it's a whole thing Anyway. Romo said, I'm glad I went to public school. Oh. I actually love their regular uniform because it really makes my life easy. You don't have to pick out, like, outfits. No, I hate yeah. the dress uniform. It's so pointless. It really is. I okay. went to a uh, private school as well, for those of you who don't know, and we wore uniforms every day. Um, they, it wasn't really lax. Like, there were... There, were, there was a very, a very strict dress code there, 
But it's not like you got in trouble if you didn't wear it or this or that. Uh, now, you would, like punishment, I guess I should say. Um, sometimes they'd be like, hey, don't wear that again. Or, hey, those shoes aren't permitted or something like that. But you wouldn't be like, here's a punishment because of it. Yeah, if, if like on regular uniform days, if they forget their belt or won't tuck their shirt in or something like that, then they have to wear dress uniform for, I don't know if it's a day. It used to be a week when we were there. Um, and I was like, that is so ridiculous. And, like, when I've talked to administration since then, they say their reasoning is because they have to, ha that we still have dress uniform is that they need basically a consequence for dress code infraction. And I'm like, but you don't. Like, come up with something else. Yeah. This uniform that they wear, honestly, there was a six weeks period where Beckett or Fallon never even wore it. So when I went to put the shirt back on her, her shirt wouldn't button. Yeah. Like, she needed a new shirt. So, like, I added it all up, and it's at least $100 per kid for this extra uniform. And that's, in like, Fallon grows, so she generally will have to have two of them. So that's $200, right. and she's wearing it between 10 and 15 times in a year. Right. That's it. Yeah. And I said, they have a dress out day, like, they'll get an award for honor roll or they it's a special occasion so they get a dress out day and I was like use that as the consequence if you have to have a consequence you can't just call and say hey your kid's not in uniform bring them xyz like which I think honestly should be enough I agree because um, Maria said so the kids are punished for a parent's mistake exactly and that's what I'm saying like exactly. parents don't have enough on their mind or enough to do but but if they accidentally send their small children without it or with something incorrect the kids get punished along with the parents i just think it's bogus. yeah i mean wayne wayne had to leave work i had to leave work mm -hmm. and i mean it's a, it's an honest mistake oh my goodness oh for sure but um i said if you have to have a consequence then take those days away so for instance if you have a dress code infraction two or three times then you no longer get that dress out day that everyone else you have to wear your regular uniform when everyone else is dressed out i, I personally think that's fair yeah yeah it surely is frustrating do we still have friends holding on like do we want to do this now that i've there's, ruined this there's umbrella still 70 here right, we'll go with it maybe i'll you know what we could <laughs> um first of all cat said i kind of need you to cut anna's face out and iron it on there it's making me sad then anna said eh becca's is on there it's kind of the same face mine's not on there it, my, like half of my face is on there rach what? is on there i'm on there yeah oh look <laughs> at me I, I have like so maybe we should put like this right here just cover, <laughs> just cover it just cover it i don't hate it though I mean, like, the way that it transferred, it doesn't look bad. But you can't even see it. No, I can see your face. My face? Oh, you mean like the one that's successful? Yeah, like the photo. Okay, thank yes. you. I didn't know no. what you were talking about. No, I was no, like, no. um. This is really sad because it would have been super freaking cute. Look at this. Look at this. That, okay, that's pretty cute. Right? That's we do have cute. another one. We do have another one. Okay, so I'm wondering... I'm just going to ruin this side. Shirley said, the true star is shining brightly. It's true. Shirley, it is true. you're my new favorite. It is true. <laughs> Everyone is here just for Rachel. That's it. That's why there's only 70 here. No, I'm kidding. And I'm, I'm totally kidding. I've come to terms with that. It's no, fine. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Goodness. We've got to torture each other or else there's no fun. It's not fun. I think Becca and I have tortured each other since day one. Honestly, there were points where people who were not around us a lot, and once they were around us, they were like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Like, do you all hate like each other? Like, if you didn't know us. No, we love like each other. Like, at the camp trip, if me and Becca go back and forth, some of you might be like, dang, they're mean to each other. It's all in good fun. Oh. All in good fun. I have never once went to bed thinking about something mean that Becca said to me. Because she doesn't mean it. And it's just hilarious. She just There's to... been one time that I had to apologize to Rachel. And I don't even... Every time I still she, feel bad about it, but I immediately apologize. I don't even remember it. it. Wasn't, and then when she says it... It wasn't anything I said. It was my tone. Like, oh, my gosh. So, so we were filming. We oh, were, my gosh. And I like, was what rushing... Was this, like, two years ago? Yeah. I was rushing through, trying to get something done, and she um, <laughs> would stop me to correct me, and... I don't remember. But See, I, I don't either. Just my tone. It's not like what I said. It's how I said it. And it was like, I'm so, I'm Gosh. so sorry. And then I'm sitting here thinking, God love her. If she remembers that, there's probably stuff I've said that I haven't apologized for. Oh, I'll let you know. And if so, I am sorry. 
This is really good over here. <laughs> you gotta spin it around. Anna's gonna be like, I told you. I told you. Are you seriously covering up your and Anna's face with yes. something? Which one are you covering up with? The sewing machine? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. This is good. I can't get the other one on there. This is a genuine question. Kat says, what would happen if you took the the same image and tried to press it again to get your and Anna's face on there? I feel like it would be almost impossible to get it the same exact placement and then you would get a bit, a bit of shadowing. Same, especially with how these are moving around. I mean, like, I could try it. I'm not going to. Eventually, I might. I think it would be really hard to get it exact, especially since yeah. since it's not like a see through. So like like, uh, it might it might be fine if you could line it up perfectly. This is a, this is a crap show. I cannot wait to see this. This is Carly be said off to my second to last OB appointment. Carly, good Woo! luck. You're so close to meeting that sweet baby. Oh, that's so exciting. Was yeah. there anyone out there, Rach? Yes, the Morrison Utilities fellow, like I said. Why doing are they something. out? What are they doing? I don't know what he was doing, but I, I knew it was probably him. I knew it was. You were right, Rachel. Oh. Well, I see him there all the time. They're just out there talking on the phone, and they just drive away every day. I don't know what they do. Um, I love joking around with you all. We love joking around with you guys. Yeah, and please don't ever take it personally. If we, like, say something in, in the comments, like I was just talking about Shirley, I said, well, it seems like you, like, fails because you just want to hear us. You know, you just want to let us sit here more. Shirley totally knows I'm kidding. Please don't take anything we say to heart because we joke around a lot. We definitely do. Um, Nikki, well, my favorite is Charlie. Nikki, that's sweet. He's not even here yet, but he's he's the favorite. That's sweet. Oh, oh. Dear Lord, Becca, no. This is much better. The glue gun. Also, another learning experience. Oh, I overlapped wow. with the tape. <gasps> this looks much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> completely, That's I completely great. covered it up. That's completely fantastic. covered it up. Anyway, <sighs> the rest of it is really fun. I like, agree. Like, no, the rest of it was just, these, these are just fun <clears throat> tests, fun tests. And honestly, if I weren't chatting, I probably wouldn't have even had that issue. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but like super quick. Yeah, I don't know. I love these. What do you Can you think? sublimate over something you've already sublimated? Like layering sublimation. Yes. Um, you, you have to be careful sometimes because if you put heat back on something that's sublimated, sometimes some of the ink will come back up depending on what the material is. Um, I think this would honestly be fine. Well, You're going to have to put it on the second camera. They want to see it all close up. Oh, yeah, it's something. Yeah, let's, let's okay. see how this looks. You guys deserve to see a good close up of this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to open back up, honestly. <laughs> it's all that bad juju. <laughs> doesn't want to open. We're opening it at the first couple times. It's not opening. Well, it probably won't be. There we go. Oh, Lord. Oh, you know why? Because I bent it. There we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know where you can see here. We have our adorable little camper. Honestly, you might just want to close it and then open the panels. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I like that. Sorry. Smart. <laughs> just... Had to reopen it just to close it back again. Okay, so really quickly though, can you see? <gasps> yes. Like if I hadn't had that, it would have gone right onto my mat. Okay, we have our camper, very cute. Okay, have, that's adorable. Yeah. Our um, tag, very. Look at those colors. Very cute. Adorable. Rachel, very, very cute. Stunning even. Gorgeous. Wow. Mine and Anna's signatures, oh our body, <laughs> and then this happened. <clears throat> and you know what? It's fine. Stop. It's fine. That is hilarious. But the colors, honestly, like the colors really are beautiful on these. They're absolutely I gorgeous. I agree. They transferred really well. Super, super cute. Overall, I give it, I mean, an 80%, which is passing. One hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So who wants this umbrella? They're going to fight over it now. I'm totally joking. That's a terrible umbrella. I'm not sending that out. 
We're not giving that to any of It you. may be a good gag gift at the camp with the flock. It's, it's next year's white elephant gift. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, uh, you can have this umbrella, this, this umbrella. botched umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> funny anyway thank you all so much for being here this has been super fun i did not intend to do that i intend to do one um little image and go about my day um but you you know you all inspired me you really inspired me um he loves the faded look Romo does. yeah it was intentional it was for you i knew you would like it oh my god they do want it it is so funny what did i told say? you i what told you to say I'm drawing a smelly face on with a sharpie. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Everyone, see, I actually, Becca. it did a beautiful job other than the chain rack at the end. See, Kat, you're right. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like 80%. 80% strong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and again, if you weren't distracted, you would have gotten an 100 easy. Now 100. I want to get out that other umbrella and really make it perfect. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I may. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Dang, I'm, Crystal, you are late, but you can rewatch my fun craft fail. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't entirely fail. Like we, no. we've decided it wasn't. It wasn't even part fail. of the live today. The, no, all of that was a bonus. I should have stopped after the tag and called it a win. But I wanted to be here longer with you all. Okay. I know. Um, what am I missing here? Tell them what's going on this weekend. This week. Oh, can you? I'm oh, gonna. It's, it's right. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we would like to invite you to our Galentine event. Well, no. Which is no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it got derailed. Mm, yes. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Because men are coming. Oh, man. We wanted Scott to feel included. Yes, so we invited Scott, our yes. husbands. Um, Romo to feel included. We wanted, I'm trying to remember Lenny, um, all of our men, um, uh, wet, uh, what's his name? I shouldn't have started with names. It's never a good thing. <laughs> never a good thing. Never a good thing. We have several, actually, we, we do have a, a couple of men members and we love this. Yeah. Honestly, I love yeah. it. Like I love, I love, it encourages us to do things that aren't what we would normally, like, yes, uh, we yeah, love it. We do. Sure. Anyway, um, we want all of you to come. It's going to be super fun. We're having a f uh, fondue with the flock event, which is basically a Valentine party. Uh, we are going to be launching. We're scheduled to, I keep saying we're scheduled. Talk to the web dev team this morning. They are also on the same page as us scheduled to launch our website on Saturday. So fingers crossed. There's no hitch there. Um, I mean, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Still, it's always nerve-wracking. Yeah. The it's merch nerve section, before you get started, the merch section is not finished. Nope. That's been another hiccup, another another story. Uh, but we're scheduled to do that. We're going to make a massive announcement that you guys are really going to flip a lid over. Yeah. Um, we are going to be making fondue. We are going to be making Valentine's. And then our husbands, uh, Wayne, Mark, Donnie and James are going to be here for a fun segment for you all. It's going to be a really fun event. Um, free for everyone here on YouTube, 12 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, the 12th. So this coming Saturday, we would love for you to come. It'll yes. be really fun. Yeah. That would be amazing. Um, for sure. Flock and Tine. Flock and Tine. <laughs> Sounds German. Oh, they're so funny. Flock and Tine. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> My mom just got a new fondue pot yesterday. Hopefully she lets me use it. She Ooh, should. She should. Yes. I've like never used an say. electric fondue pot. We have two here. So we'll see how that goes. What did Stacy say that was so funny? Stacy is funny. Stacy and Russ. Stacy, let's see. They're, they're funny. I would love, I would love to hang out with them. They're funny. Where, where's the fat Stacy? I don't see it either. I don't Anna, what did it. she say? I don't see it. No, let me know. Um, Aina says you're very good at putting these graphics up, Rachel. Well, you know, just sit back and watch the master here. <laughs> um, Doesn't Becca look good in that <clears throat> color, that green color? All these green Thank ones? you. It pulls out the color. green in my hair. Oh, yes, it does. You're right. Um, uh, never done fondue, Griselle. Ooh. You're missing out. A palantine? That's palantine. cute. Palantine. That's really cute. Yes. Your printer won't be here till March, Mary. I'm so oh. sorry. I hate that. 
She's hoping to get to come camp. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That would be so exciting. Um, okay. Anyway, thank you all for being here. It really has been great. We'll be here tomorrow at 10... 30. 30. A.M. Ten thirty. Yeah, we're asleep for many hours. Ten thirty A.M. Eastern. My mama is going to be here. We will be. Yay. We being. I'll probably just talk the whole time, and she'll do all the work. Um, hemming a pair of pants. Some of you all have asked for instruction on how to do that. So she, she's going to show you. It'll be fun. It's going to be great. Yes. So she'll be here. Be here um, to support Jan. Jan. Mama. Jan Myers. Mama Myers. Have a fantastic Wednesday, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow.